So I guess what I'm trying to say is I was wrong. I never thought about strings as something to change or enhance your way you play guitar. I always saw them as something that affected the sound. In other words, a thing that affects tone. In today's episode, we're gonna be checking out Master 8 strings. Master 8 is a brand, I did a video of their picks uh, in 2020. Love their picks. Um, and that wasn't a sponsored video. This is a sponsored video. It's sponsored by Rob at Tessie Switch. He makes amazing kill switches for your guitars, but he also sells other components. He sells DiMarzio pickups. He sells Keeley pedals. He sells Master 8 strings and picks. And uh, he reached out to me and said, hey, Phil, would you be interested in doing a video about strings? And I've done a bunch of videos about strings like pure nickel strings, seven gauge strings. I, I love doing these videos. I find them to be very revealing to try things that you normally don't get to try. First, before we get into it, let's explain real quick what a coded string is for those that you may not know. A coded string is just like a regular guitar string, except for it's coded in basically Teflon. Um, that of course, either whether it's sprayed on or dipped in the Teflon itself, uh, it coats the string and it does a couple things. First of all, it really uh, puts a barrier on the string so moisture and oxygen can't get to the string or at least it's dampened by that and uh, it, it lasts longer, lasts four to five times longer than a normal string. The other benefit of coated strings is they don't deaden as fast because of that reason. So you can play them four or five times longer than normal strings which is why they charge about two to three times more than normal strings. These are about $14, $15 a pack versus $6 a pack for non-coated. Um, and the other benefit is, of course, they, they feel a little smoother and they don't make as much string noise. So they sent me a couple sets of 10 to 46 and 9 to 42 electric coated strings. Now these are coated strings. Now I have used coated strings before. I've obviously used them on my acoustic, a couple guitars, and I like them, but I prefer non-coated strings. So my original thought was to be like, maybe I'll compare them, how bright versus how how warm they sound. And there's a couple things I want to share with you. First of all, I want to share that Master 8 is a brand that's made in Japan and they're very good quality, but they are not uniquely different. In other words, they're not a new technology. They're not using a different coding system than anyone else. They're not doing anything like that. And they're not claiming to. They're basically saying, hey, we make really good quality strings and we make really good quality coded strings. And I found that refreshing to say we make good strings at a competitive price instead of a bunch of marketing mystique that doesn't equate to anything. Basically, what, what I did was I put a couple sets on my guitars, including this guitar right here. This is my Valiant Jupiter. And I put 10 to 46 coated strings on and I thought, okay, let's play it for 10 days and see what I notice. Usually when I try, try coated strings, I'm always, always looking at what they're not. They're not like my string that I normally use. They're not this. This time I said, I'm going to put them on. I'm going to play them, keep playing them, and really decide where I'm at with the coated strings. Am I for them or am I against them? Where am I at? Here's what I noticed. I'm going to share it with you right now. I started noticing over time, after hours of play, my playing was changing. They also remove friction. They remove friction from not only fingers, but from the fret. And I started noticing things changed. First, I was sliding into notes more. Love that. So then what I noticed next was more vibrato. and more so on the low string. And the vibrato that I was doing was different than I'd ever done before. Usually my, vibra my vibrato is very, very aggressive. But I noticed I started slowing down.
Because again, I feel like it's slick underneath the, the between the fret and the string, kind of like a stainless steel fret. And kind of like fingeries, if you ever use fingeries or any kind of those lubricants, and I'm not a big fan of those. They work great, but I just don't like the way they feel. So what are the downfalls then that I discovered? Well, of course, they're not as bright as my normal strings, but I adjusted the amp. I'm playing through my 65 Deluxe Reverb. I brought the treble up a little bit and I found no difference. And I love that. Okay, so am I saying that if you're playing some elixirs or clear tones or Daddario coded strings, you should switch? No. Um, I think that if you haven't tried a coded string, I think you should consider uh, the Master 8s if you're a fan of the channel because, of course, they supported the channel by, by sending these out and taking care of the channel and sponsoring this video. Um, but again, you know, if you want to go to your local mom and pop store and support them too, I appreciate that. I think that's a very, uh, very good thing to do as well. Like I said, I just think Rob deserves some credit for coming up with the idea, not only for this video, but also for sending the strings out and, and making this video happen. The end of the video is basically the simple thing. Don't be like me, try something new, <laughs> give it a fair shot. What I would definitely recommend is this. I did it for 10 days. Uh, and I will tell you on the, about six or seven days in is when I started noticing that I was getting to a point where I noticed something was happening with playing. So like I said, I would also like to tell you that this is a great way to try something new without having breaking the bank. You don't have to buy a new guitar to get maybe a new kind of inspiration. Try some different strings. And so I recommend these, these are really cool. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much and until the next time, know your gear.